So hello fellow YouTubers. So I had someone ask me to uh, do a little video about uh, multi-dimensional arrays. So um, here we go. So let's uh, very quickly revise what a single dimension array looks like. So right here I declare a letters a string array and I placed five elements in it, A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to use this later on. So this is just a regular integer variable initialized to zero value. And I'm using the uh, for each um, structure here to read each um, element out of my letters array. So uh, when I run this array, if you saw my previous video, you should see that when I run this, I'm going to get something. I'm going to get something like this. And this is what's saying. When he goes through the for each loop, it's say, um, my the value inside my letters array position zero equals a okay which is this and then inside position one index one uh, my data is b uh, index two data c and so on okay so if we're gonna look at the actual array in memory you would probably look something like this okay so here's the single array with we, we declare a string array with data elements and um, in reality, that A, B, C, D, and E data is going to be, uh, we could probably say that it's in uh, zero, zero. We could probably say that. But since it's a single array, there's no need for it. Okay. Uh, let's say we can also be like, so it's like, a, it's like an Excel sheet. Yeah, that's perfect. That's like a. Um, F5 so that's where set so that's where our data is so but in this case it'll be zero zero one zero two zero three zero so therefore there's no need for it so it's called a single dimension array okay so position position zero we have data data a position one we have data B position two we have data C and so on okay um, so hopefully that's not too complicated let's go ahead and move on here and let's take a look at a a multi-dimension array okay so ignore this for now let's just just go ahead and move this down here somewhere okay so ignore that for now and so to declare a multi-dimensional array it will be very similar to the single dimension array but the difference is, is that within brackets you would place a comma okay and that means that you're going to have two um, two indexes okay and uh, this is what we call a dynamic array because I'm not stipulating the number of uh, elements that I can put in it and I'm simply I'm simply putting a reference to it and I'm initializing it by adding data to it when you declare um, a two-dimension array like this one you would place your data in pairs like this so um, usually this is used for uh, some type of coordinates but in this case I just you know I use it because it makes sense it's a pair right Cal uh, abbreviation and a state name okay and so I'm gonna use the same um, the same structure as above to get all the data out so when I run this this is what I get I get Calif California California Arizona and so on but um, just to help you visualize this I made an Excel here so this is probably what it looks like. So when you do a string um, dynamic array like this, the first data element is placed in the position 0, 0. That equals California. That equals the abbreviation CA. 0, 1 equals California. The next, um, the next element is placed in the position 1, 0. So the reference, the reference changes from 1 uh, number index to a two number index. So one zero equals AZ, one one equals Arizona, and so on. So let me go ahead and then uh, uncomment this part that I had comment down here. And then let me place that right over here. And so here you will see, go ahead and take that out. I'm going to run a program. I'm going to run the program again and check it out. So when I run this, I declare the, the array, I add data to it, and this is what I'm looking at. So array states position 00, what do I have? California. 
I'm not gonna have enough room here, probably. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, you can't see it. That sucks. Okay, let me see if I can struggle with it a little bit here. Um, maybe. <laughs> no. Maybe. Wow, that took forever. Okay. So we go. Got everything on the screen here. So look at this. Estates zero zero equals California. That's zero zero California. Uh, position zero one to string. Well, I said California. Abbreviation CA, right? So in index zero one equals California. So here we go. Zero one California. It's like playing Battleship. Okay. So you can probably make a little game out of uh, multi-dimension arrays. Um, position one zero equals AZ and therefore you have AZ right there okay so that's how you implement and that's what kind of looks like in memory um, what do you use it for you uh, use for coordinates you use for um, elements like this you probably well you probably use enumeration if you're gonna make a list like this but uh, arrays would work as well um, especially if you already well if you have a database and if you want to just um, load it up in memory really quick and then you can do a binary search um, with arrays as well so it you know, will probably be a lot faster um, if and then when you add multi-threading to it as well you can let's say load data from um, the database in a separate thread while the, 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 the user is starting the application and so you have all that data um, quickly retrievable from array in memory um, hopefully this is helpful um, I'm gonna talk about uh, jagged arrays next um, so stay tuned and uh, ask questions subscribe and then please tell me what you want to see because it's it's a lot easier to do this than just trying to come up with uh, with uh, uh, things myself okay thank you for watching bye